Today, Australia will become the third country in the world to switch on 5G, the next generation wireless network expected to deliver download speeds at least 10 times greater than the NBN on day one. Well, after much hype, it is finally on. Telstra today turning on its 5G network, just a third country to do so. But to access it, you need one of these, a Samsung S10 5G smartphone. This is a landmark day today that we're bringing 5G to Australians. This real-time speed test shows the S10 pulling down 1.2 gigabits per second. That means a movie download would take minutes or seconds. The National Broadband Network tops out at just 100 megabits per second. It's not even a contest. 5G is going to be as, as ubiquitous as electricity. It'll just be so embedded in our lives, absolutely change the way we, we live and play. If you want to share your 5G experience, the HTC hub will connect up to 20 devices via Wi-Fi but don't give up your NBN account just yet. No, this device isn't a replacement for the NBN. Uh, we think it's a fantastic complementary asset and device for customers. 5G was supposed to be here in 2020, so Australia is well ahead of the pack. But that means very limited availability right now. Check out these coverage maps of capital cities and some regional areas like Toowoomba from 10 cities today to up to 35 cities uh, in the next 12 months. And because 5G is so fast, before you know it, you've gobbled up all your data. The pricing is around the same, and which includes uh, the price of a handset, and there's very generous data allowances, up to 160 gigabytes per month. There will be other 5G handsets by other manufacturers announced later this week and in coming weeks.